Welcome to uh, Spreadsheets for Solving Groundwater Flow and Pollution Problems. Uh, the lecture today is on uh, how to construct uh, find a different model for a confined aquifer steady state uh, conditions with constant transmissivity and a constant grid dimension delta x equal delta y. I use a 2D may center it find a different grid so let's begin uh, first to choose the iterative uh, option of excel so you use uh, options uh, sorry for the spanish but you can follow uh, and is the same in our language formula check manual check uh, iterative calculus and the maximum number of iterations you can uh, use 2000, 3000, uh, you get at the end the, 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 the solution. But let's uh, put just 15 iterations just to show the procedure works. And this is the maximum change for uh, closure for, uh, to end the, the model. This is 1 times 10 to the minus uh, 5.01 millimeter. Okay. So first input the data, the transmissivity, the grid dimension, and uh, here is our model, a very simple conceptual model, just for explanation. Here are the X coordinates, also you don't need that, and here are the Y coordinates. And uh, the model is very simple, no flow boundaries, no flow boundaries, and here a uh, constant head uh, boundary. In two the mesh center grid, well, is in the center of the, is at the node, so that's why this uh, boundary is located in the center of the cell and also the, the constant head. And this is the equation, and it depends on the neighbor's age. So it's this spreadsheet, and it depends on the world discharge rate that is here. And uh, please do not put wells on boundaries. Well, you can put wells on boundaries, but you need another equation and here the infiltration so let's uh, begin let's zoom in a little bit just to see the equations and yes we choose any cell l7 and let's write this e equation equal to the left cell or the left edge plus the right plus the upper plus the bottom divided by 4 so this is some kind of uh, mean value minus uh, Q let's go to Q the same cell Q all 7 is here okay minus infiltration the same cell l7 okay is here and this is in millimeters per day the formula is in meters per day so let's divide it by 1000 um, okay and let's continue with our formula okay here and uh, use Let's put parentheses minus infiltration times delta x square. Okay, divided by four times the transmissivity here. Okay, so let's check if we have the correct formula yes we have the correct formula so okay and we don't need this formula anymore so zoom out again to see and uh, just uh, 
data percent. Okay. So now just copy our equation in the entire flows domain domain. Okay, paste. And let's begin with the constant health boundary. So you have to put here the water level of that constant health boundary. Let's choose zero. And uh, well, we can uh, just put zero in that boundary. And if, if, if there are some different values, just put that different value. So. And now we have that boundary. And next, no flow boundary. For no flow boundary, for a mesh centered uh, grid, you can apply the image well theory. It's a very easy way to remember. And that uh, image well theory say that the heads on the other side of the boundary are duplicated. It's like a mirror. So that's why it's an image. So this cell is an image of this one. You can copy, paste, Okay, the same in this boundary, equal this, copy, paste, and the other boundary, copy, and paste. So we have defined all the model with the boundaries. Next, the pumping wall rates. Let's locate two wells here, 1,000, 2,000. Okay, here a pumping rate of 2,000 cubic meters per day. And let's locate here a well with 1,000 cubic meters per day. Next, the uh, infiltration. So let's put some infiltration here. Let's put 0 0.03 millimeters per day. You can put infiltration on boundaries. The equation is the same. And let's put here in this area the same infiltration. So we have our problem completely defined our boundary value problem. So let's solve and uh, just here to see this Excel graphs to the and 3D and just by pressing F9 or just here room model uh, this is the first 50 iteration or F9 another 50 iteration so let's change now again the option formula uh, let's put uh, 2000 iterations and you could see the number of iterations here in the bottom. So F9. Okay, so now this is our problem. Well, uh, also let's uh, see uh, here. Well, I originally I developed the, this for Excel 2003. Uh, 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 uh. Now I made a mistake. Let me see if I can resolve that. Uh, okay, but uh, this is this is uh, okay. Let's move it there. Okay, and now okay. Now what I want to show you is that uh, well in Excel 2003 you can. Yeah, it's, it's very easy to... Okay, now... Now, okay. <laughs> so, you can have different views by clicking in one of the corners. So, that's another advantage. Also, let me show you... Okay, here... Well, you can superimpose a uh, Google Earth uh, photo like this and here you have some walls well with transparent uh, colors here is the sea and there is some river here or you also superimpose a map maybe more clear you could see here the walls 
Okay. Now, finally, <coughs> let's uh, see uh, our same problem, but with uh, uh, the, the, the image wall theory works good, but for that kind of li uh, linear uh, boundaries of this type of corners, but for different uh, boundaries shape, let's look this and let's modify a little bit. Okay, our okay. Now we have this kind of boundary, so. How can I work with this type of boundaries? Okay. First, uh, let's uh, check this boundary. So you need the AA is equal to the Y. So here, just type Y. Here, the AA again equal to the Y. So let's put here Y. Let's do that corner later. Here the row 5 is equal to row 7. So here 7. This is the same type of boundary. So you just copy and paste. And this corner, oh, we already have that. Uh, so the row 5 is equal to 7 again here so now I define this um, this kind of uh, corner well you can use also again the image well theory you also locate or prolong this uh, boundary so the y node is duplicated so you have here two times okay and also if you elongate this one the row seven is also duplicated two times but this is a mean value, so it is not the 5 divided by 4, just by 6. So that's one way to remember. And let's see how it works. If we uh, make the correct uh, boundary conditions, and no, we fail here in this knot. Let's see. Oh, yes. So here we have this node, the AC5. Oh, here, if it's very easy to make mistakes. So now, but you can check in, the, in, the, in your figure. Now, this is the solution. Well, the Excel draws this, uh, the, but there is no. Aquifer. So that's it for now. Thank you very much.